What is going on people of YouTube? My name is Hamster Bikoyo and welcome to a brand new review video for the latest game week. And I'm starting on the table of my head-to-head -head league. Um, I just invited a few people I know would keep active throughout the whole season, so it's not full of 20 people. There is one average, so it's 11 people. But, look at how close it is. With one win, that could take me up to second. Someone needs to put Rule Breakers FC on a leash because they're ruining the whole fun for everyone else. But what is going on, everyone? Welcome to another review video. First of all, how do I do? 70 points, green arrows everywhere. Not a bad week. In fact, a fan tabby dozy week with great captaincy. I switched last minute from Ertzil to Lukaku. Lukaku scored. I also had Ertzil coming on assist because Shelny clean sheet, check clean sheet, Mares goal and assist. You got Vardy goal, you got Icarlo goal. You know, fantastic performances all round, making a great performance of 70 points. A little, well, 19 above the average, not going to complain at all. But, let me just talk to you about who did well. And, pretty much, you know, you probably guessed who is going to, well, well one player is going to be in. And it seems to be a common theme, at least one player um, is mentioned, or to have at least some bonus points. But yeah, Mares will be there. At some point, but we're just going to go on all players and go on round score. And first of all, we've got stuff for the goalkeepers. And first up, actually, is Jack Butland. Now, he had a fantastic game week. He gave himself a clean sheet, three for three bonus points, two for eight saves, and then also minutes played, um, 19 minutes. So he gets two points for that, 11 points in general. You know, is 66 saves this season for me? That is astronomical. That's something I've mentioned before is that Stoke this year are looking like a team that are going to be I mentioned right at the start of the season you want to have safety or save tier a player that's going to make a load of saves or are going to get a load of clean sheets. Jack Butland is turning into that keeper that's getting both. You know, And how vital that is? Hugely vital. Because you're looking at times you know, where you think you know, he's made a lot of saves, and that's given him a few bonus points, and that's really saved him. Whereas other keepers, maybe like Czech, would have made two or three saves if he's conceded. You know, so he wouldn't get the bonus points, just get the two points. So, hugely important. If you haven't got Butland in your team, get him in now. I use my free transfer on Jones, bringing him in for um, small links. They're at home to Norwich next week, but I'll talk about that in the preview. But yeah, next transfer, if I get time, I think I want to get De Bruyne out. Because I don't think City are looking all that. And he hasn't been decent form, not starting, not playing very well. So, you know, not too good. And also I want to get McCarthy out because he's not playing. I want to have some rivalry. And Butland coming in to rival check will give me options everywhere. But, Butland, great transfer. Second of all, got Rush Vizca, I've waffled a lot. Wayne Hennessy, one for a bonus, four for a clean sheet, one for three saves, two for 90 minutes. Fantastic performance. Home against Southampton. They're really struggling at the moment. They're dropping down the table. And in fact, they could be doing a Swansea if they don't um, if they don't watch out. Um, but they're in trouble. Also, we've got a little bit of a face-off, as we can see on the goalkeepers. We've got Adrian, who grabbed himself seven points, you know, clean sheet, uh, three saves, and then also 90 minutes. As well did Gomez, three saves, clean sheet, 90 minutes. Um, but to be honest, I'm going to give it to Herrera Gomez. There's a third spot down there for a better performance. Reason being, Adrian, you know, playing at Stoke, you know, my, most people knew that was going to be... You know, a nil, nil. I predicted two nil, but I thought, to be honest, I really see that as being the boring game of the week. And then Herrera Gomez picks up away against Sunderland, which I feel like will be a hard game under Sam Allardyce because they have been scoring a few goals recently. So I feel like Go um, Gomez there, but equally good in um, important performances. Also, Czech grabbed a clean sheet. So did Rob. Oh, Rob Elliott didn't. He just grabbed himself up one for a bonus and seven saves. Sorry, that's the thing. Saves and it looks like he's got a clean sheet. So hugely important to have defender-wise now. We've got one out and out winner and um AJ free fee for Neil Um grab himself up three for a bonus, clean sheet, assists and minutes played. Um a few weeks ago I said get Neom in um because he would be attacking. Um I don't think it was this week, um unfortunately, but he's proved to have um given that in now, finally grabbing himself an assist or a goal, but it was assist for the season. Away against Sunderland and it was the only goal that he assisted. Well, need I say it was Icalo. Um, doesn't seem to stop scoring at the moment, but um, you know, great performance from Neon. Uh, as you can see there, bonus, clean sheet, assist, and uh, minutes played. Then we've got a battle of four different players. Now we've got Koscielny of Arsenal, we've got Philip Vorschild of St Stoke, we've got Nathan Ake of Watford, and Ward of just had James Ward as um, the tennis player, but Ward of Crystal Palace, and um, you know, Arsenal, Aston Villa not looking good, Stoke. 
against West Ham. Again, pretty much there. I've already got a Watford player. And Ward is going to be in there against Southampton. For me, I'm going to put Ward in. You know, fantastic form. He's got himself up two bonus points, clean sheet and minutes played, which made him quite a decent player this week. And I'm also going to shove in a little bit of Lauren Koscielny because he's in my team and favouritism matters. But all of them doing very well. Also as well, lower down, you've got Dawson, Johnson, Olsen, Monreal, Dia, um, Dia, sorry, I should say. Um, Delaney, Tompkins, all getting seven points. Fantastic performances all round from them. Moving on to midfielders. There we go. There we go. I'm not going to start with Mares, though. I'm going to start with the boy wonder himself, Jordan Henderson, who has come back from injury. You know, he did play a small part in Swansea, but started for the first time since right at the start of the season. A huge miss for Liverpool. And he showed why he's a huge miss, coming out with three bonus points, one for an assist, or three for an assist, three at five for a goal, and 90 minutes played, two, equaling a massive 13 points. And well done to him. I, l I really like the way he plays. I think he was a miss for England. He is a miss for Liverpool. And it's definitely someone who is an asset. You know, captain of the club coming in. One of their best players, if not their best player at the moment. You could argue, yeah, Sturridge. But he's not really keeping fit. He's out injured again, I believe. He will go on to Liverpool just to see. Yeah, he's injured again. So, you can not rely on him. Um, but, yeah, definitely one for the future he was in my team at the start I think I'm, if he carries on performing like the way he did might be tempted to put him back in um, for De Bruyne and have loads of money left so when Guerrero starts scoring can bring one of our strikers out or something like that but second of all of course Riyad Mahrez now I didn't put Mahrez or Vardy or mention them in the preview because I felt like Chelsea were going to toughen up um, they didn't and they've lost again that's sinking for a bit Riyad Mahrez though exactly the same for Jordan Henderson, played 81 minutes, but still got two points for it. Five for a goal, three for a clean sheet, three three bonus points, and a fantastic performance all round. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure he would have got man of the match. I didn't, I was sort of nodding by the time um, the game was played, but pretty sure he would get man of the match. And then lastly, you have a choice between Kabai, Ramsey, or King, maybe. Um, I did put, uh, I have been thinking about Kabai, put him in there. Been, you know, poor recently on the point scale, but. You know, at home against Southampton, you've got to compare it to that. Or you're looking at Ramsey, you know, against Aston Villa. I'm looking at Kabai coming in, steaming in, with three bonus points, five for a goal, one for a clean sheet, two for 90 minutes. Kabai gets the third pick. Again, fantastic all round from him, as well as Ramsey, King, Gahulahan, and Fellaini, even though Manchester United inevitably lost to Bournemouth, as laughable as it is. Then we've got the strikers, and, um, you know, hallelujah. Hallelujah, finally, Mitrovic is on there. He had a fantastic game week. He got himself up an assist and a goal. Kind of, well, kind of an assist, you know. Um, but, you know, it was, it, was all, it was all pretty much Perez. It was a fantastic finish, um, even though Laurie should have done better. But we had to have a three for a bonus, four for a goal, three for an assist, and also only came off the bench, so he didn't get the 12 points he would have got. But, fantastic performances. The fact that 19 minutes played and you got three bonus points shows how much of an impact he had off the bench. And then, Lukaku. You know, this goal scored, three bonus points, 90 minutes played, you know. Pretty self-explanatory of Lukaku at the moment, to be honest. Goal scored and some bonus points if he's lucky. And then lastly, um, we've got Inia Nacho. Ihi, Inihi, Ihi, Kalechi. Go on, Kalechi. Another player that came off the bench, you know, short amount of time, grabbed a goal, grabbed three bonus points, because the game was a bit boring. You know, Swansea, maybe we were going to escape there with a point, and it just shows again something that I'm highlighting. They cannot keep clean sheets without Vincent Company. It's another goal conceded. Company will come in and shore the whole back line up. doesn't matter how good they can play individually. Company makes the defensive unit. Without Company, it's just four players for me. Um, but Inacio grabbed the winner um, for them. I'm not sure who got the other goal, but I'm sure I'll find out at some point. But... You know, big up to players like Vardy, who fantastically scored yet again. I mean, he's not carrying on his run. and It's a shame he didn't score against Swansea, but he's now grabbed one goal in one game. He's well and truly on to break his own record. However, Lukaku is also close to it, so um, I'd watch out, Jamie Vardy. You better start scoring load again, but he's 15 goals for the season in 16 game weeks with two assists. Astronomical form. You know, he started at 6 million, he's now 7.6. You don't really see that by game week 16. That's at least a million 
every single week. Then you've also got Remy, who again came off the another player that came off the bench. You've got Origi, again, another player who came off the bench. You know, a lot of big impact players. You've also got Hallo, Giroud, most underrated striker in the Premier League. You've also got Gomez, Iozzi, who came off the bench as well. Gomez, good to see him finally scoring. Um, from a point of view that he did score four goals in a row, then sort of fade away, but it's good to see him back on the score sheet. But that is that for this review. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you want to know who you think deserves to be mentioned, let me know in the comments down below. But thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, leave a like. As I said, let me know what you think about the whole episode in the comments down below. And subscribe if you feel like I'm worthy. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace. We should also be recorded in America, but peace.